Welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing the much requested back to school supplies shopping. I've done one of these videos for the last few years. So after you watch this one, make sure you go check them out. I was still quite a bit younger in those videos, but I love re-watching them and you guys seem to love them. I'm going into year 10 this year and I'm also doing a VC subject early, which I'm very stressed about. But I'm gonna try and get some cute school supplies because it sounds really weird, but I find that having cute school supplies makes me actually want to study and this year I actually need to study. So let's just get shared into this video. I'm going to head first of all to Kmart because that's the best place to get some cheap school supplies. The back to school section because it's the best thing and I oh do I need a new lunchbox? Well my lunchbox from last year. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Okay. Um, see these are all too big, so, cause I don't, it's too much, I need a small lunchbox. Okay, it's either between this one, which is like a proper lunchbox, or just one of these lunch boxes. I kind of feel like just getting this. Black or pink, black or pink, black, mm, uh, let's go with black. Okay, I've changed my mind, I want pink, jeez. I'm a pink gal, like I'm wearing a pink top today, I need pink. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, something I look forward to every year is getting a new pencil case, but Pencil cases this year, I'm not really vibing them very much. This is the pencil case I got last year, literally. Otherwise, they just have like plain black ones, which have like a name on them. I'm sure I'll probably need like one of these. Or if I need these. So I like having them to organize my stuff. What's these ones? I'll leave them because they actually have the elastic on them. So I haven't seen many cute books here so far, but I just need to definitely grab some of the boring basics. Let me get white out. So cute. I have similar ones to these, like the proper ones, but I got them from Charlotte. So I think they're run out fully, so I might need to get some new ones. I kind of want to get these. See, I can't decide. I'm in an indecisive mood today. I can't even decide which pens to get. Like there's literally like three options and I can't decide. I kind of want to get these ones. So I found some more books. That's some cool. So there's not many books here in the first place, but I don't really like these that much. So I think I'm going to go and get my books from Typo because I prefer the way that their books are anyways because they have the actual elastic on them. Wow, I'm so fussy about school books. Anyways, let's head over to Typo now. This is totally unrelated, but every time I come to Kmart, I got the LED strip lights one time before and I lost the remote. So I've had LED strip lights that don't work in my room, but I finally found them. But then we have the small ones. I think I'm going to get them anyways and then, I don't know, because I really want them. <laughs> but okay, back to school supply shopping. Macbeth, which literally pray for me. I don't even know what it's about to be honest, but I have to try and find Macbeth because I've got all of my other reading books. We have four next year. Four reading books and two of them are literally the year 12 BCE books from last year. I don't even know. Anyways, I need to find Macbeth because that's the only one I don't have, so let's go ask if they have it. Alright, they don't have my version, so off to Typo. Typo! Yes, this is exactly what I love. Oh my god. <laughs> Mom, do you think I need this? Do you think I could like write with that? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're erasable pens. I swear I used to have little erasable pens like this like years ago in primary school. Exactly my vibe. I'm sure I'll have to get this one. Okay, I need, I think, of nine books. 
Okay, now I have to make the decision of which books to get. I'm really liking these ones. They're actually so cute. at Taco I got all my books they didn't have any good books so I'll definitely have to go and find one of them from office work so now we have to leave the shopping center and head to our final place we're going to which is office works and just there I'm gonna get some more like basic things and some good books and yeah fastest like shopping trips for school supplies I have done I still need to go to office works but normally I spend ages in there trying to find stuff mainly because like I usually get way too many school supplies that I don't actually need but this time I decided I'm only gonna get things I actually need so that's what I'm sticking to but now I'm heading to office works I'm just gonna get some final supplies like folders and then we'll be done and I'll do a haul when I get home already because Charlotte used them last year so I took them off of her because she doesn't do school anymore so she doesn't need them but I think they're running out should I get a new pack or should I get like the cheap ones cute I love these there's a big dude I really wish I used folders because the colors of them now are so much cuter they used to be like red and stuff but now look at all the cute colors finally found the visual diary I need they don't have the cheap ones, so I have to get one of the more expensive ones, which is kind of annoying. That's okay, I got this, I need this, and also one of the other books I need, they only have online, so I'm going to have to order that online and get it shipped here, and I think we're good. Okay, so the other day I cleaned out from underneath my bed, which was an absolute mess, like Everything was under there. All my past books from every other year was just shoved under there and all my old pencil cases. And I didn't realize how many markers and things I actually have that I could still use. So, here everything is. I'm going to go through all my old pencil cases and highlighters and markers, see what still works. And I just find that it's a bit silly to buy stuff when I have so much that I didn't even realize I had. So reuse this stuff. I had these two pencil cases and I didn't even realize. and I just thought all these pens were so bright and fun and I realized this is like the perfect thumbnail so this is gonna be my thumbnail it's just like I feel like I'm clickbaiting it right a bit I'm like whoa so many pens but in reality I do have this many pens I'm not I'm not telling a lie let's just actually get through this now oh my gosh I am so lucky I've not bought any texts I found these I think these are from primary school and then I have these ones from last year these are like the cute colors I actually use how many scissors do I need they're all literally the exact same size oh my gosh there's more here i'll open now it's actually insane like this has turned into an episode of hoarders i just want to quickly say that some of this stuff has oh my gosh sorry i have the hiccups but some of this stuff has been collecting up for like five or six years i literally found a whiteout which says on it year five six that i got this in year five or six and now i'm now in year ten because every year when the year's finished i take my pencil case and literally throw it under my bed some of this stuff has even some of this stuff has even come from my old house, so before I moved into this house, I've just been throwing it in boxes, and it's all just kind of built up over time, so I promise I'm not some crazy hoarder. So I'm back now, and I'm just going to do a quick haul for you guys of everything I bought today. Now, as you would have just seen, I cleaned out everything from underneath my bed and found all the old school supplies that I have, and I finally finished organizing them. For example, here are all the working. I've tested all of these to make sure they're all still working. Highlighters that I have. There's, there's more. And that's just the highlighters alone. 
So yeah, on a real note, I probably didn't need to go school supplies shopping again this year. I probably the basic things that I needed because I have so much here at home. I'm so let's just get straight on into the first thing, my books. This is obviously the most important part. Usually I get my books from Kmart and Typo, but this year I didn't really like Kmart's books that much. So I went to Typo and got some of their books. Luckily they had a deal on. But first of all, I got this book, which this is definitely my favorite. I'm going to have to like work out my favorite subject and then use that for this. Because I also love this book. It says, oops, did I just roll my eyes out loud? So I'm probably going to use this for a subject I don't love as much. Then I have this one, which says top secret notes, and it has all little daisies on it. I also have this one, which says to do whatever I want. And by the way, these are all lined books. And then I also got this one, which says I'm a ray of sarcastic sunshine, which is actually me. I'm just so sarcastic. I didn't even realize that it has sunshine bits on it. And finally, I got one of these really big books. It says good karma coming my way and it's a cute like mustard color with flowers on it. And I decided to get this one for psychology. Or just a subject where I write lots of notes because it has four different sections. So I can do one for each term. And I actually bought one book less than what I needed. So I needed one more book than what I bought, which I did not realize. But luckily I found a book which I didn't get to use in the end last year because I didn't end up needing it. It says total peach. And it's just a really cute book. So I'll probably use this for like my nat my maths notes or my maths bound reference book. I also bought this grid book, which is 192 pages for maths. I really like using a grid book. That would be my notes book. And this one for my grid book. However, when I was cleaning out my supplies from under my bed, I found this old book, which I definitely never bought. I'm pretty sure this is one Charlotte gave me, which she never ended up using. But it's a grid book from Typo. It's not my favorite pattern. It says living for my weekend. I feel like this is like 2015 kind of quote vibes tumblr but it's also a grid book and i think what i'm gonna do is most likely return this book and then end up just keeping this one because i just like the book better and also i don't need two books so i might as well have what i already have at home for maths i like to put because i have two books for maths and then my calculator and also my math and math i like to put them all into a big folder often the folder barely shuts but i just bought this cheap little stationary case so i just keep everything in here for math so i can just grab one big folder it's so much easier than grabbing 500 books i also have these two from last year which i'll be using for different subjects blue is my math subject i have different colors for every subject it's really weird it's just how my mind works and, but these two i already had at home i actually bought these at the end of last year for something for school but i never ended up using them but i have a clear one and then a red one so so that's all of my books and now on to my pencil case Every year, I always have like those flat pencil cases with like the different sections. I have some of them back here. Here's my one from last year, which I'm keeping all my old supplies in there. And here's another one I used to have. But I just always found that they're too small to store all my stuff because I go overboard with textures and everything. I love using them so much. So I got this really big clear one from Typo. Because again, Kmart was really lacking with their school supplies pencil cases this year. Oh my gosh, okay, it has this big clear thing in it, which I really want to pop. Oh gosh. Stop popping. Scissors! I have so many scissors! I should grab one of my 13 pairs of scissors. I got a hole in it, it didn't even work. That's trash. So back to the pencil case. This pencil case is just really cute and it'll fit everything. It's clear and it has like polka dots which is also good because fabric ones always get really dirty so this i can just wash and i'll definitely reuse this some of these things i realized i don't actually need so i'm probably going to return some of the pens and pencils i bought because in reality i don't really need them now that i've realized what i actually have already but i got these retractable ballpoint pens i just like having blue pens because that's all i write in i got the bic atlantis pens and then i also love writing in colored pens so i just bought this pack of colored pens and that's like the Kmart home brands that were really cheap, which is good. And then I also just got a pack of pencils. And then I got this like Faber Castle eraser and sharp wait eraser and sharpener. And then finally, I did get this little pack of pencils as well, just because these are actually like the good pencils. These are just the pretty pencils I like to have. And this one has just a sharpener, eraser, and then like lots of cute little pencils. And I just like to keep these ones even at home. They're just nice to have at home. 
So as you would have seen earlier, I have so many highlighters that I found. I'm on school supply shopping. I love these highlighters, so I bought them. They're like these pastel highlighters. I use them also. I've tried to start doing a bullet journal, so I've used them a bit for that. However, I found all of these highlighters. Now, these were my sister Charlotte's. These were hers from last year. However, I stole them at the end of the year, but I thought they were all running out. So I was like, let me buy a new one. Turns out they've not run out. She actually bought them at the end of the year. I don't know why I thought they were running out. They're pretty much brand new. So I think what I'm going to do is just return these because there's really no point in me buying new ones when I have ones which already clearly work. So I'll definitely be returning these. Just some other school supplies that I knew I already have so I didn't buy. I already had these scissors. These were brand new. I just never opened them last year because I found another pair which I wanted. I don't even know. But I had a lot more than I thought. As it turns out, I have... 13 other pairs of scissors. They're all inside of this pencil case. And they're all like those baby scissors. I have 13 pairs, so yeah. I definitely didn't need to buy these. I have a ruler, which I also have heaps of, which I ended up finding. And then I use these same textures every single year. And then I also have these uh, Crayola ones because I like to do like the calligraphy type writing with these. And finally, I just got this like hard lunchbox. It's just pink because who doesn't love pink? I didn't buy a drink bottle this year because I got one for my birthday last year, which I knew I'll use. And I just got like this hydro flask for my birthday. So I'm gonna use this as my drink bottle. And I really wanna get one of those like lids which have like the straw. I wanna buy one of them and I'm not sure if you can buy them individually. Hopefully you can because this is really hard to drink out of like with the really wide mouth. So that's everything I bought today or I already had which I'm going to be putting in my pencil case. There actually are a few more things like some other highlighters and stuff which I already have which I might go through later and add to my pencil case. But that is everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to comment, like and subscribe. Good luck to everyone going back to school this year. I hope you all have fun. Hopefully school isn't too hard and too much stress. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram, Depop, which I have, TikTok. It'll all be in the description box down below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!